What's going on, everybody? I'm the Goods on YouTube, and TG so good on all other platforms. So follow me on Twitter at Twitter handle TG so good, all one word. All right, so today let's jump into Louis NBA 2K21 tools. The tool itself is called Tools. It is a roster editor. And there was a version for 2K20 last year. Uh, this is the updated version for 2K21. They are two separate versions, two separate tools. So I'm going to show you my desktop, or at least a portion of my desktop. And you can see here and here, it looks like the same icon. But this is the tool for 2K20. And this is the tool for 2K21. So since I have the game running... When I click on the 2K21 tool, you'll see it come up here. And just a few days ago, about two days ago, I told you guys I would do a few tutorials for you guys. So that's what I'm doing here in this video. Today, we're going to look at how to assign a player cyberface through this tool and some branching off you could do from this tutorial is... Um, one, just editing your player overall, um, editing portraits or assigning, I'm sorry, assigning portraits, a different portrait to a player, stuff like that. But the main focus of this video is going to be changing the player cyber face. So the first thing we want to do is click on players. What you should notice is it says all players here. So every player that is currently loaded in whatever roster you have going uh, should come up and if you haven't loaded any roster in game these are all the players that are currently loaded in the game in the current um, play now roster they're just the auto roster that comes up all right so let's take a look at a roster and assign a face let's get to it all right, the first thing I'm going to tell you is you will want to go to either create roster or create draft class. You do not, with this method, with this tool, it really won't work. Um, there may be a way to do it, but I don't really suggest trying to go to create a player and assign a cyber face or go to player DNA and assign a cyber face. In fact, I can't even tell you how to do that with this tool, with this particular tool. But what I can tell you is if you have a creator player already created, uh, just assign it to a roster. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to create roster. We're going to go to just NBA. And when it loads up. All right, so when it starts with Philadelphia 76ers, if I press my left bumper button two times, one, two, it takes me to all my created players and all my player DNA, which then, so like if I want this one, this is a testing player, so I can just uh, copy it to a team or copy it to free agency and then work on assigning a cyber face from there and instead of doing it from the create a player menu all right all right so let's go ahead and copy this one to free agency before i do that well no i'll just go ahead and do it all right so if i press my left bumper again it takes me to all the free agents so now i just need to find it there it is all right so this one is a Jackson Ellis Cyberface. And as you can see, the name of the player is testing TG so good. So now we get into the good part of the video. Let's go to the tool. What I want to do is click refresh because I, I started the tool before uh, before loading this roster. Now search for that player. There it is. So it doesn't have a portrait here because he doesn't have a real portrait in game. So that's fine. So when I click it, it tells me a few details. All right. So anyway, it tells you the face ID, which is that cyber face 2747. 
it tells you the portrait ID is zero, which means he's not using the portrait. So let's click on edit player. And the reason I'm going so in depth is because this might be new for a lot of people. Uh, there's a few people that just bought the game on PC for the first time this year. All right, so when we click on edit player, these are the vitals. There are many categories you can choose to update. That's the great thing about this tool. We can even stretch this out and there are more categories. I believe you can scroll too. So right here you can scroll over. You can still edit his contract, badges, stats. Stuff like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to vitals. We'll look at that other stuff in other videos. Face ID says 2747. I'm going to change it to um, one that I know. If you don't know the face IDs, um, there are there are different ways to find out a face ID. Um, I believe, hold on, let me see if I can find something for you guys real quick. Before we change his face, there's actually a, there's a tool uh, by G313. I don't know if it's updated though. I don't know if it's updated for patch four, but. All right, so you guys can download this list if you want. Um, it's just a list of who's who. Anyway, so we can just take one of these guys. Let's do the 2061. It says that's Kobe Bryant. So here where it says face ID, let's do 2061. And you can just click off of that and then in game it won't change just yet but if i uh if i you know go away to a different team or different category and come back it will change it'll show the changes see so now he's kobe bryant or if i would have went directly into edit player when it loads up it will show the changes but i suggest doing the method where you go away from the player first All right. So anyway, it shows the changes. So let's change somebody else's uh, cyber face. Now we're actually going to give a player. Um, let's see. I need a player without a portrait. OK, Ivan Rab. We're going to assign Ivan Rab Jackson Ellis's cyber face. So right now this is Ivan Rab cyber face. What we're going to do is find Ivan Rab by typing his name in. There he is. So now you can see there's two Ivan Rabs. I don't know what the difference is. One says number 44. All right. So I don't know what the difference is. Let's see. Is there a free agency? All right. So when I click here, I went from all players to free agency. And when I do that, then it just shows the Ivan Rab that's in free agency. And let's click edit player. I actually still have this other player up, so let me remove that. All right, so now we're just looking at Ivan Rab. This is his face ID. Currently, we're going to change that to 2747, I believe. And let's go away from this team. Now we're on Washington all time team. Then go back to free agents. All right. And it shows his face has changed to Jackson Ellis. So that's how you can do it. Now, I want to make it clear that if you go into edit player, let's go into edit player. I can't remember what Ivan's rap. What was Ivan Rab's face? His face ID. Let's get out of free agency. Go back to all players. 
So his face ID is 7533. Okay. So this is the version that we're editing. Seven. All right. So this is Ivan Rab in game, but it's not his face. All right. So I can't, what I can't do is change his face here. What is it supposed to be again? Seven something three three. Seven five three three. Okay. So this is the Ivan Rab that I changed. And I'm gonna try to change it back. Seven five three three. Let's see if it changes in game, which I don't think it will. No, it won't change while I'm in this menu. So, but when I back out, as long as, if I back out, I don't, I want to remove my changes that I made in edit player. And then in the actual menus, his face is changed back. Okay. So d make sure you change his face before you go into edit player and then go away from the team, come back to the team and make sure the face is changed. Now let's look at a player that has... So I've, I've shown you so far, I've shown you a few things, how to assign a cyber face to a created player, which was this one. This one was a created player. I assigned Kobe Bryant cyber face to it. All I had to do was just add the created player to my roster. And then I was able to do it through the tool. I've shown you how to change the cyber face of a real player that doesn't have a portrait. Like Ivan Rab, I changed him to Jackson Ellis, then changed him back. And now, finally, I'm going to show you how to change the cyber face of a player that does have a portrait. Um, and if you want to remove his portrait, all right? So this is the Marcus Cousins, of course. So when we go to Edit Player, we're going to see that, okay, it is the Marcus Cousins. It's who it should be. All right, so let's go into the tool. Go to free agency and let's look up DeMarcus Cousins. So if I double click his name or I can double click his name and that comes up or I can just click it once and click edit player and this will come up. Um, what I do from here, we see it has his face ID. Now we also want to look at portrait ID. <clears throat> Action ID and I believe headshot ID. Well, if I want to remove the Marcus Cousins uh, photo, his portrait, all of that, I need to put zero for each of these. So I'm going to put zero and that removes his headshot in game. So let me go to him in game. Oh, where did he go? Oh, wrong way. So now, you see, now he has a game-generated headshot, but he will still have, um, let me see if I can show you guys. He will still have his other portraits assigned. So I'm going to let this load up. It should show us. No, it's not showing that. I guess he doesn't have an action. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway. I, I want to change the mural ID to zero if I'm if I'm going to change his cyber face. So zero, at least if I'm changing his cyber face to someone else. If I'm keeping him as the Marcus Cousins and just assigning him a different ID, but it's still going to be the Marcus Cousins, then I don't need to change these. But if, let's say I'm changing the Marcus Cousins to some version of Shaquille O'Neal, um, then I do want to. Make sure all these, the headshot, mural, action, and portrait ID all get changed. They don't have to be zero. They can be something else. Um, but you need to know what those numbers correspond with. But I'm changing it to zero so that all of these show game-generated portraits in these areas. Okay. All right. So his face ID is still, is still DeMarcus Cousins, which is 1805. Now, the face ID, again, controls his cyber face. So let's go back, look at that list. Let's change him to Greg Ostertag, 2055. 
2055. Click back here. Oh, it's, it's not great ghost attack. No, it's not going to change that fast. Um, but if you go into edit player, he'll show changed. But but instead of going into edit player, just in case you accidentally assign the wrong face ID, just go to, um, I'm sorry, just go back to the regular view. All right, now he's Greg Oster tag. Or just scroll away from the team and come back to the team. And we can see that he's Greg Oster tag before we go to edit player because we removed the portrait. And I, I like removing the portrait while assigning cyber faces because you can quickly see the cyber face change from this menu instead of going into edit player every time. And it's also better than going into edit player because if you accidentally assign a cyber face that a cyber face ID number that doesn't exist, then when you go into edit player, your game is just gonna keep loading, keep loading. This right here lets us know, hey, this cyber face does actually exist. And when we go to edit player, it's not just gonna constantly be loading, loading, loading. All right, so now we have the White Boogie Cousins, Greg Ostertag. I'm just kidding, by the way. I love Boogie Cousins. Um, I know who Greg Ostertag is, but he he definitely was never a, the Marcus Cousins. All right. So I think I'm done with this video. It was a long video. Thank you guys for sitting through this, especially if you're new. This is just one way of assigning cyber faces. Uh, I've done plenty of other tutorials for assigning cyber faces in the past, but I wanted to show you guys how to use this tool. And this was, well, I guess this is technically, well, officially my first tutorial for this tool. Louis tool and I'll be back to show you guys more once you get used to doing this a lot of you guys already know how to do this and you're used to it but if you're new you're not used to it um, once you get used to doing this you'll be able to do more and you these this tutorial will also apply for the 2k20 version you do things the same way just make sure when you're running the 2k20 game you have the 2k20 version of this tool and it'll work the same way. All right, big shout out to Louie for the tool. Thank you, and thank you guys for watching.